Bottom line is this. He said on Crip, you hit the yard with a safety valve in your paperwork, we stab it. So listen, I've been the only nigga defending this nigga, right? All this time. Forever. Forever. So this nigga, I guess, uh, Big Meech on his way home to the halfway house. He done lost his fucking mind. This nigga Big Meech coming home, nigga, I'm going to shut down the L.A. streets, make sure he can't politic out here, and this, 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 and all this shit. I'm gonna get, go get 10, 15 reputable crips and we gonna lock the streets down with don't nobody fuck with him. And I said, hey bro, first of all, I don't give a what you talking about. When you say BMF, you think Big Meats. I don't care what he did. I don't care what you say you helped him do, right? You come up under his umbrella, right? BMF is Big Meats. And I don't think at 58 years old, uh, Big Meats is looking to get out and run around the streets of LA because he wasn't doing that before he left. Personally, this nigga got in his head. I'm taking BMF, changing it from Black Mafia family to brothers moving forward. And, you know, here come all the motherfucking dumbass street lingo. Everybody get a 5013C nonprofit, all the different hoods, and we're going to create this and create that. And I'm looking at the nigga. I said, look, bro, take your story, take Cuffy's story, and go get you a deal and do that, bro. That. This is what I told him. I said, bro, then when Big Meech come home and he doing his interviews, he, they going to ask him about it. Well, what's this, this, this? And he going to be forced to help you market your shit. But at the end of the day, you can't go too hard because you got the safety valve. You understand what I'm saying? And talking to niggas that been to the feds, especially after I got off the line with Baby Runner and his homie, I had Baby Runner on the phone with the nigga. And the nigga Baby Runner said, all right, look what he said. He said, all right, where was you at? Was you behind the wall? He used the term. He said, what you mean? What that mean? So you know what I mean? Was you at a USP? He said, I started at a USP when I was fighting the case. And when I took my time, and the safety valve, they sent me to Florida to a low, a minimum security institution. He said, that's why, because you had a safety valve. He said, on Crip, if you would have hit the yard at the USP with the safety, safety valve, we'd have stabbed you. So then I'm trying to look for a way out for it. I said, yo, Blue Da Vinci, is there any way you can get the document to show what you didn't say or did say? Rafael D7, baby, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, bear legs, bear compass, bro. So now what we have here, bro, is J Diggs, Blue Da Vinci, um, Whack 100, and Big Meech discrepancy, disagreement that turned way farther than what it needed to go, bro. It didn't need to go that far, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just keeping the real as a grown man. See, grown man, the grown man. No, I'm not going to go. I just, you know, yeah, I mean, but they, uh, you already know what happened, and it was a discrepancy of understanding, right? And since both of y'all stand on this certain moral compass of gangsterism, you know what I'm saying? Y'all both gangsters, OGs, you know what I'm saying? Double OGs, really, y'all niggas double OGs now, stop playing. But, um, you know, since y'all, you know, and y'all in the entertainment business, so, um, this is what I know. Um, the street shit don't mesh because when you go, if you go do business in LA, most likely uh, people are going to be different than what we talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know we're not talking about Crip and Blood LA. You know what I'm saying? We talking about, you know what I'm saying? The entertainment business at LA, more Diddy, Diddy's than, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you're going to always mix in business with people with different uh, walks of life and, and, and different shit like that. And if they make money, it makes sense. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But at a certain point, you guys are a certain type of way. So y'all going to uh, stand on that. So why are y'all arguing still? Why isn't there like a, a apology or a sit down between Wack and Jay Diggs? That's what we need now because uh, it was on something that like Jay Diggs said something and mentioned 
Wack 100. And, you know, Wack 100 took offense to that, which kind of is understandable, but he said too much. And I think if he apologized about that too much, him and Jay Diggs could do good business together, bro. They're both big California pioneers, bro. Just, and they both, they're like the opposite, the LA version and the, uh, you know, the Northern California version of, you know what I'm saying? Like two bosses, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and a great, you know what I'm saying? They known for the hands and shit. So, so I think um, rather than, you know, y'all both two two feathers that 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 follow under the you know what I'm saying the same tree. Yeah, you know I'm saying so. Uh, y'all y'all definitely could find a way to use this to y'all advantage. Understanding that, uh, you know, it's all entertainment, bro. It's all entertainment, bro. Um, are you not entertained? Even when people lose their life, we seem to be entertained. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, that nigga, he, he deserved what he got. You know what I'm he was dissing little, little, little half dead. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, niggas worship that shit. So, um, you know, uh, you know, I just think they bosses, bro. They bosses, bro. Chill out. Y'all niggas always, you know what I'm saying? This ain't gladiator school, bro. Tracy, <laughs> Tracy changed. You know what I'm saying? This ain't great. Y'all niggas is old, uh, double, 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 double OGs, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas too, too old to not, you know what I'm saying? Finesse it to, to the favor. And if y'all finesse it, both of y'all finesse it. The, the network and skills and all of the, you know, you know y'all have a certain mm -hmm. level of respect in the amongst your areas of Ain't no love, and it's only when it comes to the children. They can get real chilling in the world for the killing. I'm all in, so I ain't no feeling. It's true, we told ain't no healing. Too much blood spilling, too much greed in them. God said plant the seed and he'll feed them. Why they turn their back on you when you needed them? Grandma always told me, just wait till Jesus come. But truth be told, you should know them by their tongues. Too many good motherfuckers die hella young. Too many of my people's spirits already gone. I wish I could run it back, nigga, right or wrong. Hope I get rich to keep the family strong. You know, cause niggas usually die all alone. Forever young, I wanna be forever young. Yeah, you know, <laughs> wanna live forever or some shit, nigga. You know, so many dead friends, so many dead fans. Friends. Ain't no living forever unless it's internally. All this death in my life is burdening me. Waking up in cold sweat, dreams of niggas murdering me. RP wacky to make it out of that surgery. Couldn't tell you the truth like perjury. Release my nigga B, deserve to see his son success free. I swear to God, it's all G O double D. Don't care what you heard, cause ain't no fold in me. When I die, I wanna sleep where the soldiers sleep. My heart cold from all these casualties. Play with me, it's still all our peace. Don't think different, cause I ain't never seen no peace. My guard's still up, don't awaken the beast. I do this for my dogs, the ones that got taken off their leash. I ask God for his glory, like Lord, please. The streets cold for young G's. And so why we die young if we don't squeeze? Yeah. Cold world, cause we all gotta leave. Shots to his face now say cheese Don't even understand why they hate Reese I was burdened by this life, I had to get it by any means